Cyberpunk Phantom Liberty, mid-tempo. The new course is available at Let's Synthesize Academy. Yo, Del Hassan here, welcome to the new Synthesize Sunday episode. And today I want to teach you what to do with your bad arrangement through this little thing I made. You can reach the project files and samples and presets for all my videos on my Patreon below and click here for my academy, I have awesome stuff for these courses, let's jump straight into it. Yo, so here is this beat once again. Right, so I think the arrangement here is quite good because originally, so when I started building up this beat, this is how it sounded. Right, so I think the sounds are not bad, but they are not coherent and all the different basses just don't really play well together and they don't form a groovy beat. I had to do something with this. So I started with the main bass here that I really love honestly. So I think this sounds great, but somehow on itself it just doesn't pair well with the other basses and I was confused what to do with that. So what I did is I resampled this bass sound. Obviously you can change the pitch range, the melody that it plays, but it doesn't really matter now. So what I did is I formed this little thing out of this. Because on itself, honestly, this sounds so well. That sub layer, especially with the noises, it sounds so good. So honestly, inside the beat, I think it's cool. But I felt it a little weak, so I added this block bass or well it's not a bass sound it's more like an instrument it's quite interesting and the delay I think is coming from the dimension expander as you can see here it's really simple I'm just using a sine wave modulated by a saw wave and again with a triangle that low passed and just distortion OTT some drive EQ and basically we are done here it's not a big deal but together especially with the sub is definitely something so it grooves I think this sounds great but it's quite boring on itself I had to do something with it so here in the horrible arrangement I have the starting bass that sounds great on itself honestly so I could have used that as the first hit like this but the problem was that there was a bass sound that I really loved and I honestly didn't have any idea what to do with that and that is the comb bass kind of thing so this here it's almost like a talking transformer or something it's not that evil but the mid-range to me honestly is really great because it is aggressive especially on the mid so let me show you it's a face plan bass sound so I started with a sine wave some distortion and some crazy filtering here as you can see with lots of lots of filtering and there is an FM modulation coming from this triple FM wavetable going to the simple sign. And playing with the HP filter was actually important. Because the corrector was there but the low end just messed up everything. So I had to kill it. I applied an OTT, some disperser, and cut in the mids. And we still was able to preserve lots of mids. And I used a separate sub and this noise thing and basically that is all going into lane 3 so the main synth and the sub I had to do something with that because I really love that sound so that is what I used up as the starting bass sound because it is aggressive and I think it's quite unique so so I just play with the position of this bass sound to create an exciting arrangement on the beginning of every beat so 
So as you can hear, it sounds so great. But as a long form sound, it's just, it's just not great. And I also was able to create a cool effect sound from that by just cranking up the octave by one and adding a huge reverb to it. And this creates a cool transition from the first half of the drop to the second part of the drop. By the way, in the second half, what I only did here to change the sound of this pluck layer is I moved operator B, so that is the frequency modulator for this sine wave, operator A. This is all I did here. I love this bass sound. It sounds so nice and crunchy and also it's quite simple. It's a soul wave with a triangle on harmonic 7 and, and this wave table moving back and forth with the sub obviously and the noise that is deactivated and after all these we have just filtering and some distortion on the main lane all together with the sub the disperser and some extra EQing again. So it is quite simple but you can hear that extra wave table creates the FM its own, although it is not FM, it's just an extra oscillator on top of the soy kind of whatever. So I was like, how to use this sound? And I was able to use this up as a filler kind of thing here. So these are the sound. And as you can hear, it sounds so great. So it plays a lot less a lot less frequently, but it is there and it has its own place, especially at the end of every four bars. Why? Because it is a strong sound on itself, so I didn't want to just waste it as a hundred sounds somewhere, I wanted to add some little focus to it, and that is actually important. Here in this arrangement, this strong sound just get lost. <laughs> Why? Because it sounds like it is part of this main serum bass. It could be cool, honestly. Because it sounds if it was just a filter or a modulation on the main bass, but it's not, it's a separate bass. And I had some problems with this sound. Because it sounds like a dubstep bass. So it's cool, actually, it was inspired by Cohen sounds and I think I already made a video about that, click here if you want to watch it, but it just didn't fit here at all. So I replaced it with a staccato pum 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 kind of whatever. I think it sounds so great, especially because I resampled this plug lead. So here is it and crank up the transposition by one octave and play around with the texture positions to create interesting textures out of this hit. So this is the horrible sound, but along with this staccato bass, as I call it, I think it sounds cool, especially in the arrangement. And at the end of the first half, there is this wobble riser bass, as I call it. I really love how it sounds and I made this sound for the Baroque video, you can check it here if you want it. At this stage it is a sample, but in the video I show you how I made that sound. But basically the trick here is to add some crazy mids when it goes higher on the pitch. Without that, it just doesn't cut. But with some huge boost to it in the mids, it sounds really nasty. Alright, and I have some different filler bases like this one. It's just a stupid sound coming from Serum. These two wave tables playing with the bandpass filter. A bandpass and a low pass filter at the same time as you can see the BPN filter and some distortion and the all pass filter gives some extra third to it. It's just a really simple sound. Also stupid, but in the arrangement I think this sounds great. Especially when the drums hit. With the drums it sounds great. On itself, I'm not really sure about that. So you barely hear it, but with the first hit here, it sounds real room. So it makes a nice pair, again, like if it was the same bass, but just filtered or modulated somehow. But no, it's a different bass sound. And I have this filler bass. It's a really stupid sound, but I think it sounds great. So as you can see, it's a triangle and a square, and this wavetable, the grease, frequency modulates them both and after an OTT, a disperser, distortion, this EQ to cut the low, cut the highs and the mids 
another distortion and another federator and there is no sub here it all goes to lane 2 with some extra saturation and a limiter with some high cut in lane 3 as I would say the mastering effect I like to keep my sounds minimalistic so no crazy modulations no crazy effects sometimes it is unmanageable but I try to focus on being simple and I have this frog bass so stupid sound but let me show you in arrangement the part of this bass here is to create a transition to the staccato bass because again these almost sound like if they were same sound or same preset but no especially in the mix So the mid-low frequency range is very very similar between these two bases so these guys this is why it has its own place so it's not really different not really distracting but blends in with the next bass sound very very well and i have this boomy bass that i honestly hate stupid simple sound we have this wavetable and it's almost a square sound with some filtering and distortion after filtering creates very very cool harmonics we don't need the convolver and the reverb at all and another sign this song modulates the main wavetable because without that it's a different character I still like this but I wanted to have a different sound so if I crank up the harmonic this cool it's quite noisy on harmonic one on harmonic 2 maybe it would it would serve better our purposes and actually the low pass filter with the distortion creates the tone because it is so stupid but if i filter it especially with high resonance and then distort it we get a really nice new raw corrector the flanger is an important part here a fetchurator and an ott after that with a limiter and we are done and there is one more thing to talk about is the fillers so let me show you what happens without the bases to make the background really wide and interesting millions little background filler whatever suck in as i call it like you know reverse risers or drop down effects we can call them like this this is one and another one we have these little lasers i love it and it's almost unrecognizable little hit but in the mix i think they sound really great You can hear it on the snare. And what is actually really important with new reproductions is these ending at the end of every eight bar or whatever is your arrangement, these little almost harmonic or tonal risers. This guy here. You can barely hear it, but if I mute it, you can hear that something is missing. Yeah, so basically all we have is just basses, but with this tonal riser, I think you have a lot different feeling. Something is tonal, something is musical happening. By the way, it's a crazy simple sound. It's a soul wave with five voices of unison and really heavily detuned with some noise, phaser filter that creates some nice notches in the background going back and forth and some distortion notity and also again notches and some cut on the lows and the highs so without the notches maybe in a mix it would sound great I really miss the notches the sound evolves and moves a lot better with the notches. Kuzo, don't forget to grab this project on my Patreon below and click here for my academy if you want to learn more about Kuzo production. See you guys next time. Peace.